Good morning, ladies. Okay, so I am super excited. I actually just had a call earlier this morning with one of you, and we were talking about vital proteins and or so vital proteins is the brand. Um, but we were talking about collagen peptides and we were saying how unflavored, um, some of you may even be able to taste it. So if any of you have this, I'm going to be showing you where to get the recipes that vital proteins actually creates for their products. So it's super cool. If you ever get a supplement of any sort, whether it's liquid IV, vital proteins, you know, I'm not a huge supplement person, but it is nice to know that you have a supplement brand that you trust, you know, the benefits of it. And that if you don't know how to consume it, they have recipes for you. So in here, collagen peptides. Some of you have asked me about it. Some of you have purchased. So the one thing that I absolutely love about this is I am horrible about taking a supplement. Like I'm horrible about taking a vitamin. I always forget. But for some reason, by putting this powder in my coffee every morning, it's super great and it's easy. And I was saying how I try to be as consistent as possible. That does not mean that I'm hitting it seven days a week. That means that I'm striving for four to five days a week, normally Monday through Friday when I have hot coffee, and I put two scoops of this. So collagen, pro collagen peptides are, and I'm going to just kind of read off of this just so you can see the information. So for wellness made easy, one serving daily to support healthy hair, skin, nails, bones and joints. And I can totally tell when I take it consistently, not that I have joint issues, but I just feel like my body moves better. Like I'm more, I don't, I don't know. I, I just, I feel like everything just flows a little bit nicer. So some of the benefits are 20 grams of collagen helps support your healthy hair, skin, nails, bones, etc., And it's made from grass fed, pat, pasture raised bovine. Um, so that's the only ingredient that's in this, which is awesome. Um, because often when we get supplements, there's a lot of extra stuff added. And if you do get the flavored, you're going to get some sweeteners, you're going to get some additions. But if you do completely unflavored, all you're going to get is the collagen peptides. So things that I like to use it in, and this also shows right here, it dissolves, it says it dissolves in hot and cold liquids. I'm going to be honest, I have struggle, I struggle with it having dissolve in cold liquids unless I use like a blender or anything like that. I find that when I use it in cold coffee, it just gets all clumpy and that's probably a user error, but you can add it to coffee, you can add it to tea, you can add it to a smoothie, bowl of oatmeal, protein shakes, etc. So if you are interested in this, um, I'm more than happy to talk a little bit more with you about it. One of the other benefits of taking collagen peptides is we talk about protein all the time. And for two scoops of, for two scoops, which is I think the size that I usually have, it's 18 grams of protein, which is awesome. So if I have coffee in the morning, we want to make sure we are getting around 100 grams of protein at the minimum per woman per day. So knowing that, we want to make sure that this is a really easy way to get an extra 18 grams of protein into your day, as well as the other benefits of your hair, skin, nail, joints, bones, etc. So I was talking to one of you this morning, and it was super great because you said, even with the unflavored, you can still taste it. And I default to coffee, but I went on their website, which is super cool, and I just Googled. I Googled collagen pep... Um, I Googled vital proteins, collagen peptides, recipes, and it got me to here. So then what I did is I went looking and I was like, okay, well, where is it? Because I know they have it specifically. And every once in a while, oh, we want this little arrow. Sometimes that little arrow, you got to refresh. So then I found the exact product that I had and I clicked on there and I just kind of looked down. Candy corn lovers, this mocktails for you. There's mocktails, there's smoothie bowls, there's meatballs. I thought the meatballs and zoodles was a really awesome idea. They have like 16 pages here. They have actual meals you can add it to and not just smoothies, um, like fries, dips, little ice creams, whatever that is. So if you have a product or you have a supplement and you're tired of just drinking it, whether it's with water, with coffee, or just consuming it a certain way, and you've gotten to the point where you're not actually consuming it, but you know the benefits behind it and you trust the product and you've seen the benefits and you felt them, then check out their website. See if they've got any, if they've got a recipe page. 
For instance, Liquid IV is the other one that I use as my electrolyte. I like it much better. I am also not a fan of sugar-free stuff. They just came out with a sugar-free option. I don't like sugar-free because sugar-free just means it's a bunch of artificial sweeteners, which are not super awesome for our bodies. So I do the normal sugar and let's see here. So if I go, I just got, I'll just show you the ones I got here. So fresh new flavors. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, the Concord grape is delicious. So I could go in to learn and they always have deals. If you're brand new, they've got ingredients impact. Let me see. And then see, I do this. I do liquid IV recipes and if I come in here, it's going to give me different recipes for different things. And I love this because most likely this has been brought on either the company has put it together as a recipe or somebody has submitted different recipes. So liquid IV is great for popsicles in your water. Remember liquid IV is an electrolyte. So if you're someone who drinks a ton of water and you feel like you're just peeing all the time and you get to the end of your day and you're drinking a gallon of water or more and you just can't seem to stay hydrated, you're probably missing some electrolytes which is going to grab onto those water molecules in your body and hang onto them and keep you hydrated rather than just going in and coming out. So really looking at if you've got the whole point of today is for me to show you that if you take a supplement, there are recipes out there that tell you best ways to do it. The last one I'm going to show you because I used to use it is Quest Protein recipes. So Quest Protein, it's another protein bar slash powder, just another protein brand. And they used to have a ton of recipes here. Let's see here. Hmm. Interesting. So they used to have a bunch. I wonder if they are just not using it, whatever that may be. Oh, right here. Let's see if that takes me there. Uh, read more. I know this video is getting kind of long, so I probably need to stop, but I was just like, it tells you, it goes in and it tells you what of their product you need to use. And you may end up really liking this and realizing that like, oh, I don't really like Quest Protein, but I like cookies and cream protein by Optimal Nutrition. Great. Use the same concept. So it's, I, I love looking at what other people have created because often we get stuck just eating that protein powder, eating that protein bar, throwing that collagen in something basic, having that liquid IV in water. And sometimes we want to switch it up. We want something yummy and delicious that does that's not normal. So yes, it sometimes takes more work, but it's super great to have this available. So if you've got any questions on bile proteins, liquid IV, or anything else that I, you're like, I use this supplement, how can I find the recipes? Do you know any? Blah, blah, blah. Let me know. I want to get these to you and help you get a variety in here. So have a great rest of your day, everyone. Let me know if you have any questions at all, and I will talk to you soon.